New details tonight about the deadly shootout between a Ludlow, Kentucky officer and a man who he pulled over. Just minutes ago, we received a photo of the cop involved in last night's shooting, Officer Sam Hodge. We are also learning more about the dead suspect's mindset about police. WLWT News 5's John London, live in Ludlow, where it happened about 7.30 last night. John. Yeah, Riverside Marketplace, uh, Mike, right behind me here. Not far from where Charlie Reynolds lived. Friends of his say that he had negative views about government and about police. Now, whether that factored into what happened behind me here is an open question tonight. This was the scene around 7.30 last night, an example of what a seemingly routine traffic stop can suddenly turn into. It's believed Ludlow police saw a maroon van driving recklessly on Oak, pulled it over into a parking lot at Riverside Marketplace. It was crowded with Christmas week shoppers and passers-by. I was in the house with my mom and dad, and I heard the first shot, and then 10 to 15 seconds later, you hear three more, so we immediately ran outside. Officer Sam Hodge took a bullet to the shoulder. 61-year-old Charles Reynolds was hit fatally in the chest. Nearby friends got word and went there to find his van running. And no Charlie, and his boots on a, on a pavement. And it was really sad. Everybody who showed up here last night grieving for Charlie. We, we was praying for the police officer, and we was grieving for Charlie. Those who knew him say he resented a recent run-in with police at his residence. Friends say officers were there on some sort of drug offense involving a relative. When Charlie comes down in his kitchen, there's officers in his kitchen with weapons rolled, without being invited in his house. And he, in his mind, he, considered, that was some he considered that a home invasion. Tuesday night's exchange of gunfire happened at a very familiar place to Reynolds. The manager at Family Dollar told us he was there several times a week. What precipitated the violent confrontation has occupied investigators through the day, and it weighs heavy on his one-time supervisor at Ludlow Public Works. It hits me real hard because we were practically brothers. I've known him for over 30 years, and this is not characteristic of what he would have did. And Ludlow Chief Scott Smith tells us that police have had pretty much zero contact with Charlie Reynolds over the years. Key questions about the number of shots, who fired first, and what, if anything, the body cam video shows remain unanswered tonight. Reporting live in Ludlow, John London, WLWT. News 5. Yeah, John, thanks. When asked about all of that tonight, state police said that they were still in the preliminary stages of evaluating surveillance video. Officer Hodge was released from the hospital this afternoon. He is now home. We have just obtained Hodge's personnel file. We found that he was terminated from a previous job with Highland Heights Police when he failed to arrest a DUI suspect after a crash. And you can see the entire personnel file and Hodge's background. We've posted it now online on our website, WLWT. Dot com.